The story of Florida Springs is a story of miracles and answered prayer. It could be and has been told in various ways, but may I observe that uh, when God has a job to do, he chooses a man or men with whom to work, or women as the case may be. When he has Israel to lead out of the bondage of Egypt, he chose Moses. When Israel was under bondage and had failed because of Saul's sin, he chose David to be the leader of his people. And so, from time to time, God, as situations and emergencies have arisen, has always had a man ready. If Moses is to be taken to glory, Joshua is prepared to take over. And so in camping, we work through people, for people, with people. Before I uh, came to camp, I was ready to be out of my house, but I was also really sad that I wasn't gonna be able to be with campers as much as I thought I was gonna be um, being hired as a counselor. So I came into the summer ready to be one of the camp nurses and that just totally changed when COVID hit in March. So um, I came and it was totally different from what I was expecting. Some fears that I had coming into the summer was just very nervous and stressed out about what would be different about the summer with COVID and having to wear masks and being away from people. Also kind of just scared that uh, camp wouldn't happen altogether. I was scared that it would be different and that a lot of us would have to go home. I was wondering how in the world is working at camp going to fit in with a job search and possibly having to leave for interviews. Coming off of four years of college, how is it going to be to just, it's a different culture, different atmosphere than a secular college. We have all these expectations of what certain events are supposed to look like. And so I came into the summer a little anxious because I knew it, my wedding had already been tanked and I knew that I was going to be living at Hillside and I knew I was going to be the oldest guy and I just wasn't sure what the summer was going to look like. The week before I came here, I got uh, activated by the Air National Guard for the civil unrest. This is my first summer working at camp, so I was really scared that I wouldn't like know anyone or like, meet anyone. I just kind of go through the summer alone. Being a senior and losing all of that stuff that you normally get one last time in high school, it was very difficult for me not to be angry with God every time I went into the Word. And so one of my biggest fears going into the summer was that I wasn't going to be as on fire for God and therefore I wouldn't be able to serve the campers as well as I had. I was not expecting the, the position I got this summer, but besides not expecting it, I was also a little bit apprehensive and maybe a little bit of anxiety about the position and what it requires and the responsibility and uh, the responsibility of leading people. How long are we going to be able to run camp with everything? I, one little thing, we could be shut down the whole summer. Because of COVID, the staff has been a smaller group, so I've gotten a lot closer and more personal with a lot more of the staff. As I wasn't truly ready to have those interactions with campers, I would have been pushed to a breaking point. It's really cool to see just where I was emotionally and ready to give back. And also, it gave me a taste of what I want to do next summer. So God really worked through the anger and changed it to more of a joy. Um, just to be thankful for the time that I get to have with campers and to realize that all the time that I have with campers is through God allowing them to have interactions with people. He's been using that to work in my heart, I think, and help me see how he's sovereign in all things. Um, and that we're not in control of circumstances, even though we can try to like use all these precautions and guidelines and things, but he's still gonna do what he wants with our hearts and with our lives here at camp. I've definitely learned a lot more about leadership than I knew before. I've seen God really provide what we need. And God just kind of showed me is like, hey, like these guys have a lot to teach you. And I've just been such a blessing to be up at Hillside and learn from all the guys and see different perspectives. And Being at camp and just the atmosphere makes me so happy and to just be surrounded by a bunch of like 
Christians. You can have those like real and deep conversations. The amount of stuff that God is still doing and God is still providing for us, just in different ways. And I think it's so cool to remind us that God is over everything. And no matter what, God will provide in any way that he sees sitting. Everyone here is very loving and caring and accepting. And they all just kind of brought me in. It made me really happy and felt like I actually did belong here and that I could see God's love through the people. Seeing the staff really bond together through this has been awesome. God has opened and closed doors as he has done in his perfect timing, but learning, learning to give all that to God and surrender to him through all this. I had a lot of deep conversations with a lot of the girls in the kitchens and the amount of wisdom that flowed both ways that I didn't need to be so worried about, oh, how am I gonna fit in here? Like, how's that gonna go? Cause God worked it out. If I end up having to go home and like miss out on the rest of the summer, that is okay because he's got me and that's all that matters. We are blessed this year. Uh, blessed because we have a great staff uh, that loves to serve the Lord. We, this summer, are COVID crushers. We're just beating the odds. It sounds so cliche, but it's like we are a family. We are family. We are family. We are unified. We are united. No matter what, there's just always that community, familial aspect of summer staff. We are encouragers. We are great encouragers. We're encouragers to one another to build each other up in the times where we're torn down and we need the love of one another to come and build us up. We are epic. We are full of energy. We are resilient. We are caring. We are cash money. We are servants. We are chosen. We are creative. We are people who love on others. We are a cohort. We are people who show the light of Christ. We are hopeful. As we've been told many times before, we are the summer for the campers. Like we're the experience and we're what they see and the faces that they see at camp. We've gone through a lot, but yet we still have we still have joy and we still trust in the Lord. I suppose all of you who came into camp staff will never forget 2 Corinthians 9:8. The ability of God to work through you no matter who you are.